Good evening students. In this video, I am going to explain Brahma poem. It was written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Actually, it is the subject of American literature. It is the poem of American literature for BA, second B English students and for UGTRP. So, Ralph Waldo Emerson was an American essayist, lecturer, philosopher and a poet. He was a poet who led Transcendentalist movement. Transcendentalist movement is actually a philosophical movement and uh, it was the first movement in US. That means philosophical movement in US. And uh, what is the main uh, uh, concept and the main aim of them is uh, believe the power of individual and personal freedom. The poem Brahma is based on Hindu philosophy about soul. So, according to Hindu religion, Atman is the individual self and Brahman is the ultimate reality. That means uh, Atma in each and every individual person's, uh, that means uh, Atma means soul. Soul is in every individual person's. Um, Paramatma means uh, that is ultimate reality. That is, um, maybe uh, that means uh, God. Brahman is also called as Paramatman or Supreme Self. Brahman is the divine essence of the universe. So, Lord Krishna here says soul is not slain when the body is slain. So, that is the main concept uh, which has been taken by the poet and uh, he has used in this poem. Soul is unborn. So, we cannot destroy soul actually. There is no, no death for soul as well. So, our body can be destroyed but our soul cannot be destroyed. So, the poem Brahma also conveys the same concept. And according to Ralph Waldo Emerson, all things and or actions are equal to Brahma. So, the poem starts with the lines, if the red slayer thinks, think he slays or if the slain think he is slain. If someone kills a person or and think, the action is done by him uh, and uh, the action thinks it is responsible for the action. Both the doer of the action and the action are not known that they are not responsible for the action. Actually, everything, whatever happened in this universe or in this world, everything happens and uh, everything happens through the uh, through um, brahma only so we are all like a, an instrument only the action has been done through their hands but only brahma that is omnipotent is responsible for each and every action done by them they are like instrument they means uh, human beings are like an instrument in the hands of brahma the action has been done through them by brahma indirectly the poet tells us that everything is has been done by brahma Brahma has all the power on earth and universe. I keep and pass and turn again. I refers to Brahma. He has the ability to make alive or kill anybody or even give rebirth to all living beings. It is all in the hands of Paramatma. That is uh, supreme power. And Brahma is watching everything actually. Though it is near or far and forgot will be known by him. The heat from the fire and cool from ice can be felt by human beings because they are mortal. So, suppose if you feel very hot or suppose if you feel very cool, uh, it, we can feel it only through our, in our body only, not uh, in our soul. So, for soul there is no feeling uh, and uh, nothing. And so the poet says, light and dark are the same to him. The vanished gods to me appear and one to me are shame and fame. No one can vanish from the eyes of Brahma. Even Atma, after the death of human being, can be seen and unite with Paramatma. For soul, both shame and fame are equal. If suppose human beings are very proud of their fame, no? And even uh, they will be very sad because of their shame. But, for, uh, sh but to soul, shame and fame both are equal. Uh, they reckon ill and who leave me out when me they fly, I am the wings. The poet further tells us that those who leave from God or distrust, distrust him, they believe that they are going to face problem. Suppose if you, do, if you, if you distrust God and at the same time you feel that uh, uh, you are going to face some problem because of this means, uh, actually one thing is forgotten by them. Their action is not actually done by them, but only done by uh, Brahma only. He acts as wings when they want to fly. Everything in this world is done by Brahma only. We need not worry unnecessarily for anything. So all actions are equal to him. The doubter and doubt is also Brahma. He means a religious song to praise God. So the song is also Brahma and to whom the song is sung by also Brahma. The strong gods may refer to various gods or demigods in Hindu religion. They also want to attain Paramatma. And the 
place of Paramatma. Even the sacred seven too want to attain the immortal place. That is their real heaven. According to Hindu mythology, there are 14 worlds. Seven worlds are higher worlds and seven worlds are in lower. Even the gods in higher worlds pine to attain. That means uh, longing to attain omnipotent or in vain. Because it is not easy one, isn't it? Though it is not easy to attain the place of Brahma by strong gods, it is easy for anyone who make lover of good. So one who finds a soul in his mortal body and me can reach the abode of Brahma. Suppose if a person, if, a, if any human being find a soul and me, definitely he can attain Paramatma. They know the immortal place of God Brahma and know the real meaning of happiness. But the place can be reached only with the help of immortal soul, not with the mortal human body. They even ready to turn back on heaven to attain Brahma. Because um, suppose one who are ready to attain Paramatma, even for them, uh, heaven is nothing. Conclusion, this is really one of the fantastic and philosophical poem of Emerson. The poem indirectly tells about the immortal soul and mortal body of human being. It also describes the connection between Atma and Paramatma. That is Brahma. In this world, the whole activities and actions are not done by mortal body of human beings, but by the immortal omnipotent Brahma. Uh, thank you students. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.